Hello, welcome to the video and what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be setting up an Ace Card 2i for a European UK Nintendo DSi. Now the first thing I want to mention is if you're looking to get a flash card for the Nintendo DSi, the European version, do not get an R4i card. Um, I bought one, it doesn't work, it only works with the Japanese version uh, which runs the software version 1.1. Um, now I'm just going to show you how to find the software version on your DSi. So it might be a bit blurry. Okay, if you go to system settings in the menu, okay, and it'll say just at the bottom, it's probably going to be blurry, you probably won't be able to see it. But it says there version 1.2e, which is the firmware which is preloaded onto the European, the UK DSi. I would recommend not upgrading the firmware at all. If you want to make purchases via the, the DSi store or if you want to go on the internet, I would advise you not to do that. You can actually upgrade it to version 1.3 and the Ace Card 2i does still work, but I'd recommend not doing it anyway because the more you upgrade it, the more you just give the chance for it not to work. So it starts off with version 1.2e for Europe, Again, I don't think you can see it's pretty very, but that's what it's on. You can upgrade it to 1.3 and still work, but if you try and upgrade it again to 1.4 whenever that's released, most likely it will not work and your Ace Card 2i will be useless. The Ace Card 2i, when you buy it, uh, looks like that. Again, the camera's not very really good, so when you zoom in, you can't really see it. So it says 2i on the end of where it says Ace Card. You get one of these USB adapters with it. And here I've got a micro SD card as well. Depending on which website you buy it from, you can get bundles with micro SD cards as well. Um, I uh, got a 2 gig one with mine. It does actually support up to 32 gig. Um, it's SDHC compatible, the card 2i. So whatever size you put in there is completely up to you. I've put a couple of links um, in the info about the video where you can get them from. One website, DL Extreme, is definitely the cheapest, um, but it can take actually up to a month for the card to be with you because it's sent from China or Japan. Um, and the other one, uh, all for consoles, that's a UK website. I've used them a lot of times to get R4 cards and Ace cards, and the delivery is very quick, the service is very good, customer service is brilliant if you have any problems, um, and it'll be with you a hell of a lot quicker. You can get it first class recorded, so you should have it the next day if you order, you know, say about before midday. Okay, now, first thing is that we're going to do is we are going to download the latest firmware for the Ace Card 2i. The Ace Card doesn't actually come with any software on it, neither does the micro SD card that you're going to be using so we're going to do it now, the first thing that I've done is loaded up the screen that you need, just follow the link so um, this is step number two so step number two, I've just put the direct link there you see here what you're looking for is this, okay, you're looking for version 4.16 okay, that's the latest software available at the moment for the Ace Card 2i it will obviously be updated um, as time goes on, but that's the latest version at the moment so if you, you click on that okay and it comes up with a option to save what you want to do obviously is save it it's going to be a WinZip or a WinRAR file if you haven't already got WinZip or WinRAR you'll need that uh, if you just type in WinRAR on Google you can download it and install it for free um, I've already got that so I'm just going to click save I have very handily got a folder called Ace Card 2i. So you just want to save it somewhere simple where you're going to remember where it is, maybe to the desktop. But for these purposes, I'm just going to save it to this Ace Card 2i folder. So I save it on there. Um, don't know if you can see that, but it just says it's going to take about a minute or a minute and a half to download. So I'm just going to let it download and then we'll carry on through the video.